Now, among the 48 IDF soldiers who have died during the ground fighting in Gaza is Reserves Major Moshe Leiter, who was among the group of reservists who were killed last week while inspecting a booby-trapped terror tunnel in Beit Hanun. Now, the 39-year-old Leiter was no stranger to combat, having served an extended duty in the Army's elite Shaldag commando unit, before turning his talents to medicine and becoming a doctor. Now, the father of six also held U.S. citizenship. His father, Yechiel, is, I think you could say, a prominent figure in what we call the Anglo-Israeli community. He served in a number of government and public positions, including as chief of staff for Benjamin Netanyahu during his term as finance minister. But he is joining us this evening as the father of, of Moshe Yedidia Leiter, Yechiel Leiter, speaking to us from Kibbutz in Sorim. Uh, Yechiel Leiter, thank you for joining us. Uh, well, let's start with your son. Tell us about him, because he sounds like he was uh, an extraordinary man. Well, he was an extraordinary man, and I could, if I start telling you about him, we'd need several hours of broadcast time. He was a um, very special person who, uh, after serving 15 years in special forces, one of Israel's most elite commando units, he, um, he decided to uh, go to medical school. He was in the first um, med school class at Ariel University. And uh, as he was uh, studying, he continued to uh, dedicate time to the Army. He did 80 to 90 days a year in reserve duty. And he also went to battalion commander's uh, course, which he finished uh, with uh, honors. He also uh, ran a program to integrate uh, members of the Haredi community in Israel into uh, an Israeli intelligence unit and a uh, high-tech unit, cyber warfare unit. Uh, he was a uh, wonderful person. Uh, we heard from, I'm, I'm talking to you here from the tent outside of his home in Kibbutz in Surim, uh, where his wife was, is left to raise uh, six children. He just had a baby born. Uh, three months ago, Ivri Natan, you see my father there in the sure. picture. He's uh, not Moshe's grandfather, and um, uh, you see the picture with the baby. Um, uh, so uh, we're here in the tent. There may be a little bit of noise in the background because people are coming from all parts of the country to uh, pay their respects and to share and console us. So. Right. And I know, I, I know there were thousands at the funeral, but I want to go on the comments that were reported. That you spoke personally, of course, but you also had a message for President Biden. And maybe you could share with us that and why you, why you spoke out there. Well, first, I, I just want to say that uh, we have tremendous um, appreciation for the uh, uh, aircraft carriers that the United States has sent to the region. Uh, for the uh, plane loads of uh, ammunition and materials that we've received so we can properly conduct this war. But there are rumors that there's pressure on, uh, on the uh, government and on the prime minister uh, to curtail the operation or to slow the operation. And that's not what the people of Israel want. And I think I was giving voice to that. And I um, uh, thought that it was uh, appropriate at Moshe's uh, funeral to make that point. Uh, it was a, a small part of my eulogy for my son, but I think it was a very important part. And I I just began the letter to President Biden making mention of the fact that uh, I also come from Scranton, Pennsylvania. Hmm. Uh, that's where I grew up. And uh, I'm also a bereaved father as the president is. So I thought I could take the liberty of uh, sending him a letter and beseeching him uh, to ignore the pressures in his own party to pressure Israel and uh, and completely completely support us because really I said that this is a it's his battle this is a battle against all the uh, uh, anti-liberal forces against the forces that would turn uh, us back to the Middle Ages the barbarity and uh, of the uh, Hamas attack was such that this was organized evil that has to be defeated and if it's not it's going to come to the backyards of Americans. Right. Uh, now, uh, actually, Prime Minister Netanyahu, I think in, uh, sa in was it on Saturday in his public remarks, did specifically mention the the passing of your son and the pain it caused him and is in context also of his personal relationship 
to you. So maybe I wanted to speak to you about that fact of the difficult decisions that Israel's making now at the cost of the sacrifice of some of its finest, uh, including your son. You know, look, um, I, I do, uh, for many years, uh, discussions with uh, decision makers, policy makers, uh, journalists, and I'm, I'm, I'm just fascinated sometimes by the, the ignorance uh, that people uh, display regarding the IDF. Look, m my son was killed because we proceeded gradually and with the intent of not causing unnecessary casualties. It would have been much easier not to send ground forces in. We could have spent another, you know, three months draft bombing uh, Gaza. And when it comes to civilian deaths, there is nobody, no country in the world that has a better record than we have. I mean, one just takes a look at the, the U.S. record in uh, Afghanistan uh, or in Iraq, and uh, there's just simply no comparison. We're far more careful than any other country in the world, despite the fact that there's a very good case to be made that uh, the civilians in Gaza participated uh, in a very large way, in a very uh, potent way, in Hamas terror. There were civilians who came streaming across the border into the kibbutzim to murder and, and, uh, and kill people. And, uh, and our soldiers have found in almost every home uh, in uh, northern Gaza, booby traps and uh, the, the, the entrances to tunnels that were used uh, for the terrorists. So uh, I think everybody has to be, first of all, educate themselves about how Israel conducts itself. And secondly, to be far more circumspect when it comes to criticizing us. All right, Yechiel uh, Leiter, we say in our the Jewish tradition, uh, may his memory be a blessing about one who's passed. I think we could drop the may here and the say of uh, Moshe Yedidia Leiter, his, his, his memory will be a blessing for you and many others. Thank you so much for joining us on I-24 News you and for sharing honoring. with us. Thank Thank you for honoring his memory. It's most appreciated. No, our, our, our privilege. Thank you for joining us.